These are 10 of the fittest athletes on earth. We've put them on five teams of two, and they've been going head to head in a series of challenges. Woo! Previously on the show, we had a flipping fun workout, mud fights, and some obstacles at a Tough Mudder. Now, we're headed back to the gym. Welcome back to episode two of the Buttery Games. Right now, here is your current standings. What are we doing, Mark? All right, we got three classic CrossFit benchmarks. We're gonna do Fran into Grace, and then right into Karen. So we're gonna kick it off right now with our five teams of two. Let's go. Let the game begin! Here we go, all right, we got a fast start. We got 21 thrusters to go out the gate, followed by 15 and nine. Paired with pull-ups. Knock those out, dude! Watching him do the thrusters was comedy gold. None of these count! He was getting to parallel, which was awesome, and then finished his barbell about right here. All right, let's go! Lock it out, there you go, take it. Come on. Yeah, dude! That's what happens when you try to cheat the system, bro. I see Justin's thruster, he's locking him out. The dude's getting no rep left and right. I started laughing, which did not help with my speed, but it was worth it. Lock those out, come on. I got through about 20 of the 21 reps on thrusters before Heber showed up and said none of these counted. I hold myself to a very high standard with movement quality, but today I just, I didn't know the standard. Why was there a gray area in our brief this morning about what a lockout is? I figured that you're in a veteran of the sport and you understand what a typical thrusted standard would be. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you needed that. But For knowing sure. how dumb we are in the future, <laughs> we will be a little bit more clarified going into the work. Jason tried to game it, bite him in the ass. <laughs> Noah is moving right now. Okay, we got our first transition. Noah is in. Now it's going to be Mal O'Brien starting off with her 21 pull-ups. We had a 95-pound barbell, which is the prescribed weight for a friend for men. Be a little heavy for the ladies. Decided that I would take majority of those at the very beginning. Mal knocked out the pull-ups. We've got Mal in the lead right Mal now. Crushing these pull-ups. Hasn't skipped a beat. Okay, we've got a, we've got a tag. Back over to Noah. On to 15 thrusters. Got no uh, we haven't really discussed their plan, but I think he's gonna do a majority of the work. I'll do the last nine. No problem. No problem. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Got Noah in the lead. I think in second is Spiegel, followed by Justin Medeiros and Roman Krennikov. Oh, they make a transition. Jason is taking his time with it. Okay, Mal is still in the lead. On to work. 15 pull-ups. Oh, here comes the Ellie in second place. And then we got Chandler and Roman. And Roman's one more. What? <laughs> oh, Roman gets called back for one more rep. Oh, man. It looks like Mal's going straight into the thrusters. But because she's a beast, so we had her go from the set of 15 pull-ups, knock out all nine thrusters at 95 pounds. There was concerns that the 95-pound barbell was too heavy. They're moving it just fine, Mars. They're looking good. We got Mal in the lead. It looks like Danny Spiegel's in second. Okay, we're on to the last Noah. nine on Fran. Noah is crushing it. In second, we got Ellie followed by Danny Spiegel. They're done. We're on to the clean and jerks. Oh on my gosh, Fran is done. Grace is 30 clean and jerks for time. Nice, she's dropping from the top on every rep. Uh, Spiegel is moving that like it's a pool toy. Then I wanted to do a couple clean and jerks just to like, give Chandler a break because he was like, I'm just gonna do a wall. And then you're gonna go out and do a lot of wall balls. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna do some clean and jerks. And I was going and then Chandler just goes, damn, you're done. Is that what it says? <laughs> yeah. Oh man. <laughs> I was like, aye, aye, Captain. And so I ran off and he did the rest Once of Once a week, somebody tells me a story back about myself and I'm like, I said that? <laughs> They're like, yeah, you said that. I always think I'm finally past it. And every week another story comes up where it's like, I gotta still work on my communication. My bad, dude. Brooke is the only female athlete that hasn't let go of the barbell. She's just ripping it. Yeah, I did dumbbell clean and jerks just because I can control the position a little bit more. I still have a bit of a back injury from the games. It's pretty good, but I also no need don't, to aggravate don't it. really want to aggravate it. Okay, we got a weight change. Yeah, still did the weight change. Left the bar at 95 when she finished. We like tripped the bar, put on 135. So we still have the same transition as everyone else. We've got a race on our hands, people. Uh -oh. 
the transitions are happening like it's a big pool at NASCAR bars. Look at this excitement. Oh. Is Justin back in the lead? Uh, he might be. Danielle rushed those 15 clean and jerks. So we had to do 15 clean and jerks at what is theoretically the women's weight of this workout, 95 pounds, followed by 15 clean and jerks at 135. Roman is not letting go of the barbell. Nice, Roman. After this, they will be moving on to 150 wall balls. <laughs> Ellie has jumped into the lead. One wall ball behind her is Noah. I think we were the second team to the wall balls, which the dumbbell is maybe a little faster than barbell, whatever. But I imagine their quads, lungs, and heart are all screaming right now. Danny Spiegel has now joined them on the wall balls. Ellie is moving. I knew if we got to the wall balls, like, close to anybody, I mean, no one beats Turner at wall balls, so. Here comes Brooke Wells. These guys are catching up. We came back. I we did, did 15 touch and go. No, I did 15 touch and go, and we were back in the race. All right, we got the final team. On to Karen. It was as if all those no reps were just vanished. You did 20 extra. Think about that. It's not even a fitness issue, y'all. No. Just <laughs> an execution error. It's an execution error. Honestly, Wait. I'd like to appeal in our judgment. Yeah, right we, need, we do need appeal. Nice, Spigs. Nice, Brooke. What are we seeing right now? I think Ellie's still in the lead. Look how fast she's squatting, dude. Okay, we got a transition. They have to transition by carrying the wall ball behind the tape. Is Ellie just gonna go 150 wall balls unbroken? Is that what we're seeing right now? What number are we at? 44. 45. Heck, Ellie. What's count? 37. Okay, we got about a 10 rep lead over here with Ellie Turner over Noah and Mal. Where are we at? Where we at? And Woo! Got ourselves a race! Transition's happening. She's done 50 straight wall balls. They're at 45 wall balls. So 50, 45. That's 45 here. This is gonna be close, people. We're all about 50 reps in on Karen. 44 down here. Okay, here comes Chandler with a transition from Danny. All right, be honest. Well, what were you doing? You were doing clean wall balls? Squat clean wall balls? They were, they would fall. <laughs> it would hit the target. It was a little wop sided wall ball. Oh my god, this <laughs> fucking wall ball stuff. Come on. Yo, trying to throw a lop sided wall ball All right. to a high target like that. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill something. <laughs> Might go get another wall ball. All right, it looks like Justin's in the lead. We got Noah in second, followed by Chandler Smith, Roman Krennikov, and Daniel Brandon. Yeah. Be ready, be ready. Be ready, he says, be ready. All right, we got another transition. Here comes Spiegel. Jason him as low as he possibly can on this thing. <laughs> this is great, Lee. <laughs> Don't compare us to that. Ellie hitting a solid six inches higher than Jason Hopper. I won't take that number to reference anything else. Oh, they caught up. One rep difference between these two. Whatever you want to Yo, guys, Jason Hopper's way in the back. We're concerned for him. But this is the battle, I think, right here. 110. Versus like 120, 130 over there. Yeah. Yeah, our wall ball strategy was 15s each. We ended up changing. Mal switched in at 75. I said, Mal, at least get to 100 and I'll come in and finish. And she went to like 121. 21. <laughs> A lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mal didn't know that this, this weekend is actually her audition for team next year, potentially. So we'll see. Hopefully things go well. Leave a comment down below if you want to see it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Not a bad pairing. <laughs> We got a battle right here. Within three reps, you got Roman and Brooke and Danny. Is he gonna go the distance? Go! Five reps go. remain! Oh my goodness! 132. Oh, we got a transition. Can Roman hold on? Can you walk all back? Go, go, go! Oh, we got a winner. It's gonna be Ellie Turner and Justin Medeiros for the win. From the last to first. Oh Where's the God. best? 
We only did three breaks. She did 50 of them. I did 60. She finished with 40, so we only had two transitions. And like with our wall ball speed, I mean, we had like a pretty comfortable lead, like finishing up the wall ball. Oh! Who's coming in second? It looks like it could be Noah and Mal O'Brien. <laughs> It was a very close finish there. We got Roman at the very last second passing Noah and Mal O'Brien. And it's fourth. Fourth place is Taylor. Oh my God. All right, everyone, come here, Jason. Hop around. Circle them up. Circle them up. Two steps, Jim. Last round. Get it up. Get it up there. Come on. Carry the ball back. All right. We're coming in last. Coming in the last. The big man. The hot man himself. How we doing? <laughs> I thought this was Gridley. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> way to go, Cash. Oh, you moved the needle. Let's go. Good job. Good job. Roman did a lot of wall ball. Brooke did 50, then he did 100. <laughs> 100. Uh, 50, 100. Oh. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that changed <laughs> things. Yeah, that changed things. <laughs> my, my teammate told me it's time to fuel now, so we don't stop. So you guys were in the lead, Rook and Roman, at that moment. You guys decided to make a transition at the end. Why did you guys think that was a good ball? Well, moment. it wasn't. I was just tired. Roman was like going through it, and he's so fast. And I was like, I'm the same Chandler and like bring it home, go get that bread. <laughs> the bread was moldy. If, when you brought me in, the all hope was lost. Get your autograph. Why did you take like 20 reps off mine? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. We, we, have, some, we, have, some we rough, have an appeal. We have some rough lockouts. Hey. We got footage. I'm going to start with some controversy, bro. Do you guys feel robbed at all? I mean, I feel like Justin and Ellie won the dumbbell division, and I'm okay with giving them that. Not quite the same. We won of uh, the barbells, but originally I thought I was going to have to do dumbbells, but I didn't want to because I was like, we're going to win this one, and I don't want people to be like, oh, it's because they use dumbbells, so I just, <laughs> I just use the barbell. I feel like I probably could have moved the barbell like similar time to what I moved the dumbbell, so I think it was pretty fair. I don't want to be that guy, I'm just Sounds saying. like you're being that guy. It's hard to <laughs> I will also say you were throwing the wall ball about seven inches higher than Hopper. So, oh, oh, was that him behind me? Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> he was wearing a belt, so I don't know if that slowed him down. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, no. Brick house down here, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Moving like a brick house, too, buddy. How many reps did we no rep you to start in the first set of 21 thrusts? My, my guy didn't say anything until you showed up. Yeah. <laughs> you just went, throw your went, judge under like, the bus. I was at 18, he went by to three. <laughs> Rightfully so. Zero, Rightfully so. You were lucky to have three. Dude, it was giving me a good laugh during my thrusters. I was just looking over like, oh my lord. That's just like what I would hope for, you know? It just made mid my day. Okay, so up next we got uh, some obstacles. How do we feel going into those? Oh, we're excited. It'll be fun. You gotta just be athletes, you know? And we know Jason isn't, so. Okay, you heard it here first. We're moving on. Here we go. He shade thrown. Oh man, Fran will get you. Uh, I have a 9.1 strain registered for that whole block of activity. That was when we did Fran, Grace, Karen, spent most of my time in zone two, tapped into zone four a little bit. Okay. I was well, probably on Fran, I would, I would yeah, guess. Yeah. Or maybe Karen. Yeah, maybe Karen. I think so, that definitely got a little tough in the middle there. Who okay. got the Butter Gang, tell about Shout it, out to the Butter Gang. We're gonna go over Who and his it? name is William Craven. No. He's the yeah, most Willie. straight today. He's got a 216 day data streak. Nuh -uh. He does box I'm fitness, running, and functional fitness. What are we gonna send him? Uh, send him my DMs on Instagram, and we are gonna hook you up with a case of rain. Woo! Right? That concludes Ryan? the Whoop and the Butter Gang. We out. <laughs> now we're gonna head back over to the Tough Mudder to test some more athleticism and teamwork. All right, welcome to the next obstacle. This is called monkey business. It's pretty easy. How's it work? Is it monkey business or funky monkey? Funky monkey. That's the one. That's the one? That's the one. Okay. They're going to go over this contraption, get to the side, go back, tag the partner. It's pretty easy. Roll it. Go! I went first this time. Just in case I didn't get through it. There's also... I don't know. Yes. Like the monkey bars at Roy? Mm-mm. Nope. Nope. <laughs> those are too high? Yeah, those are too high. Oh, wow. Look at Jason Hopper. He was moving. Dude, I grew up on the monkey bar. It was like nostalgic. Right behind her is Noah, followed by Justin, then Hotman going backwards up the thing. We were just coming off a second place finish. We were getting ahead of ourselves. We knew we had it in the bag. You thought that? We didn't even have the bag. <laughs> <laughs> At no point did we ever have the bag. <laughs> Brooke making her time. Spiegel first to get to the cone, followed closely by Noah. Back over, let's go. Justin in third, 
Hopper taking his time with it. Danny may have a little corner at the end there. I was gonna say it, but I'm not gonna say it. I won't say it. And you were supposed to go around a piece of wood with a string on it that we were supposed to go around and she jumped over it. Not to throw down under the bus, but he made it look really slippery. So I played it really safe. Like I just didn't want to fall. And then once I got done, I was like, I could have gone like twice that speed. So I was disappointed in myself on that one. Chandler's in the lead. Chandler's moving. He just needs to get to this finish and we're all good. I got carried there. I felt like 96 Steve Kerr or something there. I was not at all present. Right behind him is Mal, making her way up it. Here comes Danielle Brandon making some moves in there. Roman making some pigs mistakes. I'm disappointed in myself there athlete Same. athletically. I no. thought I would be wet. I was hesitant and I should have yeah. been more aggressive. I had one wet hand which made it like pretty challenging and then it dried off after it the first couple and then it was good. Очень легко, быстро пролез. Тоже никогда до этого не пробовал. Быстро пролез, ничего сложного, в принципе. It was very easy. We just went fast. He'd never done this before, so we just went for it. We got a swing. Yep. Oh, Mel! Chandler to do it. Where's the Oh! 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 <laughs> Chandler's taking it second as Mel. He got the job done. He brought it home for the team. We almost won that Help one. That was favorite one. That was close. So we bought ourselves an extra couple seconds. Oh. We lost by half a second. I'll let you do the math. <laughs> Here goes Roman making huge efforts. Ellie has made it through. She's got one last obstacle to get to Danielle with a big finish. Danielle, Ellie. Everyone kind of cruised through it pretty good. Even though we took, I mean, top five finish still, but. <laughs> Wow, Ooh, Mal, you almost had it. Yeah, you almost had, had it. it. The beginning was slow. Oh, yeah. But you caught up where it matters. That's the only time I'll ever be ahead of Mal in anything fitness related, so <laughs> I'm going to put that moment on the camera. All right, that's a good one. Meeks, you beat all the boys. Yeah, I beat all yeah, the boys. Yeah, the first one off. Hey, Rain family. <laughs> <laughs> this is team bonding. Danielle and Brooke don't love us. If anyone fractured it, it was definitely Hopper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one that this was my idea. <laughs> Man, what a finish. That came down to the last second between Chandler and Mal. Roman made up huge ground. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we have one more obstacle remaining. Here's our leaderboard going into the final event. Tied for third is Noah and Mal versus Jason and Danielle. Who can stay on the podium and who's going home wearing the Buttery Games trophies? Final event, Mud Mile. All right, there's five different holes behind us. Each teammate's gonna jump in. They get to help each other in and out of each hole. First one to get all the teammates out and through the cone, win. To start, though, they each have to crush a half a can of rain. Okay, we're done. In the water. Here we go, in three, two, one, go! Who's it gonna be? Yeah, there we go, there we go. Who's it gonna be the first to get the can done? Okay, we got people going in. We got Spiegel and Krenica. Those chains are everything. I think the street value is somewhere in a couple hundred grand or something like that. If you're a Jason Hopper, right, like that, that's huge news yeah, for you. Yeah, we want it, but we just so desperately don't want him to get anywhere near it. Really started to sink in where we were sitting in the weekend. I didn't think we had much chance to really make a big jump up the leaderboard. <laughs> Brooks first out. But I mean, we had a good strategy. Like he put his hands for me to like step over and then he just kind of like threw me over the wall. And then I tried really hard to help him, but once again, he just did a lot of the work. Brooks in, Roman's in, Chandler's in. Steve, Brooke Wells, Roman, neck and neck. Help him out, help him out. Hot man is on his own. We just had a, a good, rhythm to it, like every single time we did the same thing. I put my hands down, Mal stepped in, lifted her up. She grabbed me, pulled me up to the top, and we just repeated every time. Come on, guys. Come on. That lead. Jason Opera at this point is doing no good. He's doing more harm than good. Like, it was all strategy. Like there's no way like he those had... other teams got over Do you know as why? fast as Do you we know did. Why? For... why? You don't know why? Chandler and Danny have a clear lead. That one was tough. We were in the trenches. When you say it was tough, I think it was tough for everyone else besides us. We we crushed it. Um, we did allow Mal and Noah to, yes, to hang out. Did. But coming up close right behind him is Noah and Mal. Chandler's up. Mal is up. Brooke is up. It was very cold, it was wet, it was dry. I tried to lift her, she tried to lift me, she tried to lift me. 
еще кипиш был, не у... все это, ну, в принципе, круто, да. Ну, самое сложное задание, я считаю, это было последнее. Yeah. So he uh, saying it's it, water was cold, it was muddy, everything was slippery, and trying to hold on to each other was really slippery. And he believes that this was the hardest uh, event of the day. Mel's into the final hole. Mel was in. Chandler's in. And he's in. Mel, it's about to take an effect victory. Oh, and wow. Noah oh. taking the end. Oh, oh, the lead. Nice. Second Woo. place we got Chandler and Danny Spiegel. All right, now we got Roman and Brooke coming in third. Oh. All right, now we got Justin and, and Ellie are in. Where is Hopper? It made us feel a lot better watching Jason and Danielle make their way through the pits. I mean, we felt like we were pretty far behind and we crossed got up over the last one and look back and there's five pits and I'm pretty sure Jason and Danielle were on pit two. They are so far back, it's not even close. Yeah, go push him back in. A lot of the men helped to the women up. Really? Yeah. How? So like you, you thought I could just like kind of pick you up. Yeah. You jerk like more than anybody? Yeah. But, I you know, I, honestly, it wasn't the... honestly, I was probably a little selfish because I didn't want to be in the water. So that was on me wanting to get out first. It's a good team. It's just like the end of a cross to work out. Everybody's helping everybody. But most importantly, we beat Jason we by beat Jason several by... minutes. I mean, if we hadn't helped him, he'd still be in the trenches right now. Yeah, Justin was kind enough. He forgave Jason from his attempted paralyzation attempt earlier in the day. Yep. And he went back in to, to help him out. But like, I, I really do think they might not have ever made it out. And that might be, no. people might just be like, oh yeah, Jason, Danielle, if you want to send them mail, here's their address, like 7800 Mud Hole, middle of nowhere, Texas. <laughs> Come on, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our performance was good and we were pumped about it, but it was, again, the real highlight sometimes can be found in the performances of others and yes. or lack of. the lack, lack thereof. thereof. Yeah. yeah. I can't pull you. Come on! That wouldn't help that guy. Yeah. Come on! Come on! Come on up! The so most we... unathletic part you did was climbing up my arm. Like, why do you climb like this? <laughs> I was, just trying, I was just trying to use you as a, as a rope. I was, I'm not a rope. Don't fall back in. Here, Jason. <laughs> Look at this. Justin helping out his competition there. You love to see it. <laughs> How are you so bad? <laughs> wow. It's like watching an elephant in mud. Give me your hand. You see what's happening? You child. <laughs> there we go. Don't even help her. Don't even worry. Yeah, don't worry about her, Jason. Calling it now. We'll be back year three. Buttery games. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. To announce the winner of the 2023 Buttery Games. All right, we got Chandler Smith and Danny Spiegel taking the second annual Buttery Games champions. <laughs> How do we feel? So good. Biggest moment of my of our either of our career. Yes, hundred percent. This is it. Yeah. This is what dreams are made of. <laughs> Let's go hit the cold plunge and get out of here. <laughs> congratulations. Hey, yeah. Thank you, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. So we're pumped to bring it back to uh, to SoCal. It looks cool that we got to do it together, but already sights have shifted to defending the title. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because it's not Next about. Next year. Oh yeah. He would have probably won if it was like an individual thing. I was just holding him back. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, of I course. Know. <laughs> I thought we maybe could have uh, been closer in contention for the overall dub, but apparently not. I'll be back next year. <laughs> Boom. For the buttery game. <laughs> yeah, 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 year three, catch us. <laughs>